Hello folks, this is 2022, May, June, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 28. This question is concerned about the chapter diffraction. So it says, a bar vibrates with frequency f to produce water waves in a ripple tank. So this is the upper view of the ripple tank. There's a bar vibrating with frequency something. So it's like this, it's like this, up, down, up, down. It touches the water surface. And so water, in on the water, there are ripples like ripples here. So the frequency of the ripples will be equal to the vibrating frequency of this uh, bar. So the wave passes through a gap of width 6 yak, uh, with x, so this gap is x in a barrier so that diffraction occurs. So we have got diffraction, it goes like this, like this, so diffraction. Which combination of vibration frequency and gap width will produce the smallest angle of diffraction? So the angle of diffraction is related to various other quantities like this. So it is d sine of theta is equal to n lambda. Theta is the uh, angle angle uh, n is the order of diffraction first order second order zero order lambda is the wavelength so i can write here as since i have to go for this uh, theta so i must have sine of theta is equal to n lambda by d here we are given frequency so i like to change the frequency like this we know frequency equal to velocity by lambda so lambda should be equal to velocity by frequency so this will be equal to n velocity then d frequency d frequency so to have smallest angle of diffraction, so to have theta small, to have theta small, we must have large d, large d and large f. To have small theta, we must have large d and large f. So let's go here. We have f by 2 and twice f. So twice f is large. So twice f should be somewhere here. We have x by 2 and twice x. So twice x is large. So twice f largest and uh, twice x largest. So choice number D fits that uh, requirement. So this should be a correct choice and all the others are incorrect.